in this video, I'm showing you five YouTube privacy settings you need to change right now to stop Google tracking everything you do. You think you're just watching videos, but YouTube's building a massive profile on you. Every search, every click, every pause feeds their algorithms so they can hit you with targeted ads. Wild, right? Don't worry though, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to shut this down so you can actually watch videos in peace without big tech spying on your every move. Start by opening the YouTube app on your phone or head to youtube.com on your computer and sign in. Tap your profile picture in the bottom right corner. You'll see a menu pop up. Click on Google account at the top to get to the main dashboard where all this stuff is hiding. All right, let's hit these settings one by one. First up, we're gonna wipe your digital footprint by disabling YouTube history. In that Google account dashboard, go to the Data and Privacy tab. Scroll down to History Settings and click YouTube History. It's probably on right now. Tap Turn Off and confirm by hitting Pause. That stops them from tracking you going forward, but to delete everything they already have. Click Manage History right below. On the next page, choose Delete and select Delete All Time for a complete clean slate. Then confirm. To keep this going automatically, go back and turn on Auto Delete. Set it to every three months. This wipes old activity automatically, so they can't build up a huge profile on you over time. Next up, Let's kill those creepy ads by turning off ad personalization. Still in that same data and privacy section, scroll to personalized ads and click my ad center. At the top, you'll see a toggle for personalized ads. Flip it off and confirm. You'll still see ads, but they won't be based on your personal habits anymore like that random thing you searched at 2 a.m. last week. While you're here, check out the interest list Google assigned you, stuff like hobbies or topics, and delete anything that's wrong or just creepy. And just like that, you've stopped the main reason they track you so hard. Your data isn't feeding their ad machine anymore. Now here's the thing about incognito mode. It's not real privacy, so don't rely on it alone. Incognito mode isn't a setting to change, but you need to know what it actually does. To turn it on temporarily, tap your profile picture in YouTube and select Turn on Incognito. It stops your watches and searches from saving to your account history, which keeps your recommendations clean. But listen, it doesn't stop Google from collecting data during that session it doesn't hide you from your internet provider, and it won't protect you from network admins. Use it on shared devices or for one-off videos you don't want messing up your feed. But for actual privacy, stick to the other changes we just made. The history pause and ad tweaks are way more powerful, so don't fall for the false security here. To turn the incognito off, tap on U option at the bottom right. Then select Turn Off Incognito. All right, now let's block YouTube from accessing your microphone and camera. This one's for your phone, so head to your device's main settings app. Not YouTube this time. If you're on iPhone, scroll to YouTube in the app list, then toggle off microphone and camera if they're on. On Android, go to Apps, find YouTube, tap Permissions, and set camera and microphone to don't allow. Unless you're uploading videos or going live, YouTube doesn't need these at all. So revoking them adds a quick layer of security. This process takes like 10 seconds and makes sure the app only plays videos, nothing more. Now, for the last one, let's cut off those random apps connected to your Google account. I made video already on this, 
so use the link on your screen to watch exactly how to achieve that. All you need to do is review each app. If you don't use it or don't trust it, tap it and select Remove Access or Delete All Connections. This cleans up your account and protects your YouTube data from being accessed through the back door. And there you have it, five settings done. You just took back control of your YouTube privacy. If you've got questions about any of this or want more privacy tips, drop them in the comments below. And if this saved you from creepy targeted ads, especially that history auto delete trick, smash that like button and subscribe for more privacy and tech guides like this. Thanks so much for watching and stay private out there.